Today we are learning twill weave, which I find especially delightful because I am stitching on twill fabric. So you know, twill on twill. I'm easily amused. Anyway, like many weaves, we'll begin by fully filling in our shape with surface satin stitch. As I've mentioned before, you can always do a regular satin stitch with no gaps between the threads, but it will be a lot harder to weave in the perpendicular direction if there's no space at all. I prefer to leave just a little gap between each stitch so my crossing threads have room. Now to weave, we'll start in the perpendicular direction, and our first stitch is a simple over two, under two, all the way to the other side. Use the tip of your needle or your fingernail to push that first thread down into a straight line. Actually, every stitch is an over two, under two weave, but it's about how we line those weaves up with each other that creates the recognizable diagonal lines of a twill. Our second stitch will be offset from the first by one thread. So where I previously went over two, I'll now go over just one, then under two, over two, under two, to the end. The third stitch is offset by one in the same direction. So if we look at the exact same two ground threads, the first crossing thread wove over those two, the next crossing thread wove over one, then under one, and the third crossing thread will weave under both before continuing the over two, under two weave to the other side. The fourth crossing thread will then weave under the first of those ground threads, then carry on. Hopefully this makes sense with the visual. I've learned that verbally describing weave patterns is not as simple as you'd think. Continue stacking more stitches, always offsetting the weave by one thread in the same direction, and always using your needle to push the new stitch into a straight line so the threads are packed together with no gaps in between. Here is our finished twill weave on twill. And we're done!